Tournament of Legends 3 bracket reveal today. Uh, just as last week, we're going to go ahead and reveal the brackets. We actually posted them on the forums for you guys already. So if you guys want to take a look at it while we're looking at it, uh, you have the opportunity to do so if you decide you want to do that. So go ahead and go over to the PvP forums and take a look at that should you want to do that. Um, first of all, I'm Hurix, uh, one of the casters for the Tournament of Legends here for the NA. Uh, I'm joined here by Storm as well. How's it going, everyone? So, uh, like I said, we're going to go into the brackets pretty quick here. We're going to basically run through it pretty quick this time. We want to make sure that you guys uh, can get the information you guys want. Um, you know, talk about it for a little bit and then just kind of move on with your day. We're going to have three giveaways here, uh, all for 800 gems each. So 2,400 gems in total to give away to you guys. Um, so guys, make sure right now, while you have the opportunity to do so, go ahead and follow our channel so that you guys can be eligible for all of these uh, giveaways that are going to be coming your way. And then about the next 20, or sorry, throughout the next 20 or 30 minutes. Um, so like I said, make sure you guys follow. Let's go right into the brackets here. Let's just look at the first bracket here. We're going to look at the pools. Uh, once again, as you guys can see on your screen, just like last time, it's going to be the same exact way where we're basically, since we have four, we basically have 128 team signups here. Um, obviously a couple of uh, open spots here where we do see a lot of those buy slots happening. Once again, that buy slot is obviously just no team was there. So the top seeded teams are just going to move right on to the round of 64. Um, the way that we did this, just as EU last week, we're going to be separating teams into four groups of 32 seed pools. Uh, the way this works is basically we're taking uh, 32 teams and throwing them into one pool, and then, then we're having three other of the same type. Um, so if you look right here, we actually see group one. Group one is going to be the Abjured. Uh, as the top seed, we actually see a team ASAP Zerg, one of the uh, AG teams that has been competing around uh, in there. And then third, we have teams like Slippery Dingo Wranglers. And then fourth, we have PVE Heroes. And that will be your first group, your first pool for NATOL3. And we'll go back to this, but I want to make sure that everyone sees uh, the brackets before we really go into anything today. Um, there are no tournaments today. This is just a bracket reveal, so you guys have an opportunity to see uh, if you're playing or if you're just going to be watching where the teams will kind of be, who's going to be playing who, when, and all that kind of stuff. And I do want to put, put on top of that, predictions from us, teams to watch out for, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So looking next at bracket two here, pool two. Pool two is going to include Radioactive as well as Apex Prime, obviously two very strong teams in this tournament here. We also have teams like Mental Asylum, Mental Asylum doing fairly good and the AG Weeklies as well, as well as Seraph of Fortuna there, uh, another team that has been kind of around the, uh, the AG Weeklies as well. Yeah, obviously most was... people knowing about Radioactive and Apex Prime there. Yeah, I do want to point out uh, to those of you watching that this is the, I, I believe, the third pool. Uh, so Radioactive wasn't the second seed, but definitely, you know, a top seed up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I believe that yeah, I, you are correct in saying that, that, that this is actually group three. And this, this actually is already changed on the real brackets, but uh, the graphic was not changed. So I think Radioactive was the third seed. And once again, people looking at this, you know, maybe people have like a little bit of thing where like, oh, Apex Prime should be rated higher than Radioactive. What it really came down to, and once again, this is the same thing as last week, that we talked about, it really came down to the way that we seeded when we did discuss beforehand um, how things were going to be seeded, and it's based ba basically on, you know, people T showing up to tournaments as a team, yeah. playing and competing and playing well, and if you were consistent and playing, then, uh, then you were going to get the top seed. So obviously Apex Prime, a team that has been contending with the top seed, a the Abjured, uh, getting a little, a little farther than most, than, or more often than not, if not all the time, than Radioactive. Radioactive still got a higher C because they played more consistently and earned themselves more seeding points. And, and obviously a more consistent roster as well. We that, yeah, that does obviously play. Change for Apex. So if, if uh, it was inc we were trying to encourage teams to stay with the roster that was you know consistent, obviously, and in participating in tournaments. And if you did both of those, you were definitely rewarded. All right, looking now into Group 3. Group 3 is going to include Cunning Stunts. Cunning Stunts is actually Team Risk, as most people know of them, or Risky Business, or uh, any any variation thereof. That's going to be the same team there. And uh, the, they were actually Cunning Stunts before, when they around the time that they signed up, and they didn't even want a team name, uh, team name change. So they're going to go ahead and stick with that. Uh, we did have the seating from... Uh, 
their ESL still, regardless of the, uh, the name change. So yeah, they're this, this... the number one seed here with Sassy Boys in the second. Yeah, I was I was gonna say they are the uh, the number two overall seed. So this yep. is uh, these this bracket is on the complete opposite side of that of the absurd. So uh, seedings do go through. If it were number one against number two overall, it would be the absurd against Team Risk. But obviously, a lot of teams to go through first. Yep. All right. Looking now at we actually uh, hold on. Let's let's just stay here for a little bit. We actually do see Sassy Boys. Sassy Boys has been pretty dominant in Academy Gaming here. Um, and I mean, we've been watching them for quite a while, hosting those uh, Academy Gaming tournaments. So, I mean, it'd be interesting to see how they stack up against a team like Team Risk, uh, provided they get to the top eight. I mean, we still have teams like uh, Mustard on Everything there. We do have uh, Wolfpack. Wolfpack actually um, is a team that went into ESL, dropped out in their first game, and then competed in AG. I think they're actually a World v. World team. So interesting to see them at fourth. But once again, this really does come down to you know, playing often and being successful when you do play. And we actually see a Ryu de Brazil there uh, as well on the fifth seed, another team that has been kind of coming up through the AGs as well. However, if we look here at the bracket for the group four here, this is going to be the one that's going to include teams like Genesis as well as Soak there. Genesis, obviously, one of the stronger teams to come into this tournament. Uh, obviously, someone that we kind of expect to go into the top eight at least. And we also see a team there as well, Soak. Soak, obviously... Uh, Tron Jeremy's team, Tron Jeremy known for using that uh, sword dagger Condi build there that annoys a lot of uh, mid-tier teams, especially. Uh, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see where they go as well. Yeah, I look forward to this bracket. There's a lot of good teams in it. Um, definitely some notable ESL and AG teams. So Soak obviously rewarded. I believe they've played in almost every single ESL over the past few weeks. So their participation, though it wasn't top four, you know, all the time, I believe they had like one top four finish. They were still greatly rewarded for participating every week and having a very consistent roster. Yeah, exactly. And I do see someone asking in the chat, Minotarius, Minotarius, there is a link to this. It is on the forums if you guys go ahead and check it. Um, we're going back to them, though. We will, yeah, we will go back. Go back. Them, yeah. We are going to go back and we're going to start that in just a moment here. Um, as we do our predictions as well. And we're going to do a giveaway in just a couple of seconds here as well. So make sure you're, like I said before, you guys follow this Twitch channel so that you guys can be eligible for those, uh, for, for those giveaways that we're going to be doing in just a couple of seconds here. But if you go now to the PvP forums and go to the DPS official Tournament of Legends 3 thread, the last most recent post will more than likely be by me, Sergeant Janitor 3164 and you can go ahead and click on the link. Uh, the, it will be an imager link, and if anybody wants to grab that for us and post it in the chat, I would, we would appreciate that as well. But um, And I can repost it when it probably gets deleted by Nightbot. But uh, that will be there for you guys, uh, and you guys can take a look at it as well. However, let's go back over to the first bracket so you guys can get a better look here. And we are going to do our first giveaway now here, and the first giveaway will be... Let's see, who, what do we want to do? Anything interesting? Anything interesting at all? Do we have anything interesting, or should we just do TOL3 NA because we're bored? TOL3, we'll start with TOL3. All right, we'll let's go ahead and start, up. get a hashtag TOL3 NA going, boys. Go ahead and type it in the chat right now to be eligible for the first giveaway. Once again, you do have to follow the, the Twitch channel here uh, in order to be eligible once again, so make sure you do that. And in just a few moments, I will be rolling through that giveaway uh, for you guys to win the first 800 gem giveaway for today. But why don't we go ahead, while people are doing that and typing that into the stream here, let's go ahead and look at this right here. I mean, obviously, the first grouping, I don't think anybody expects Absurd to go out at all. Obviously, going right on through the top eight, I think, uh, at least in my opinion, I kind of see... Uh, probably PvE heroes making it into the round of 16 to go up against them. I'm not really sure if I see any real... I don't really see any team kind of making it up there. Do you see another team maybe competing versus PvE yeah, heroes? Yeah, I, I, th I think... So, like like we previously mentioned multiple times, a lot of teams were rewarded higher seats for participating, and if a team didn't participate in tournaments, it doesn't matter how good your players are. You're not going to get rewarded for it. So, looking at some of these teams that are playing, the Abjured, obviously, the favorite... But in this upper half, um, Wild Go Gars, Wild Gars, they are a notable team that could definitely move on into the round of 16 to play against the Abjured. Uh, I'm putting my money on either them at the 12 seed or Dead from Last Night at the 5 seed. Dead from Last Night played an AG tournament the other night, uh, and they almost beat Ace Abzard, who's a very, very strong team. Um, but looking at the bottom half, my predictions there. 
Ikea Furniture at the 11 seed, a very, very strong team as well. They hadn't participated in any tournaments, so not going to give them um, you know, any leeway in terms of seeding points. So I think they're the favorites to get to the round of eight to play the Abjured. And if not them, definitely Slippery Dingo Wranglers. Who do we have on that roster? Uh, I, I can't remember exactly, but I do know they were a very, very strong roster. Impressed, okay, okay. I do remember that. I, I remember all the strong rosters. I just don't remember who's on them exactly, but I do know... They are my favorite to move on to into the round of eight. I do the think Abjur. that they are going to be going up against ASAP Zerg in that round of 16. However, I think we've been on this one enough. I think everybody can kind of expect what to see in this grouping, so we're going to go ahead and move right along. However, we do have the first winner of that first giveaway here, and that is going to be GT Kung. I'm going to go ahead and put your name in the chat. Congratulations. Make sure you go ahead and send Digital Pro Sports here on Twitch a message. Send, a, send us a message so that we can go ahead and get you your uh, giveaway winnings there. Once again, that is 800 gems. So congratulations. Uh, we will have two more giveaways still, so bear with us. Uh, we're just in the bracket two here. We're going to move right along, and we're going to go right down the line here. So group two here, we do have Radioactive, obviously, uh, a pretty strong team here. Um, looking at it right now on the top side of the bracket, um, you know, I have to say that Saris and Fortuna probably going to make it to the round of 16. I don't really know if I see any team really beating them. I'm looking at it right now, and I don't really think that anybody's going to go through there, so we're probably going to see in round 16 Radioactive versus Saros or Fortuna, at least on the top side. What do you think? Yeah, definitely on the top side Radioactive against Saros. Saros, very strong roster. Uh, I don't think they're going to be good enough to get past Radioactive, though. Radioactive looking pretty strong. Uh, as for the bottom half, though, we've got Apex. Apex bringing out a new roster, as we had talked about previously. They're going to be really, really strong. Uh, but looking just below them, Mental Asylum and Booty Bakery. If Booty Bakery is a team that actually shows up, meaning the members of that team wake up that morning because they have players who don't wake up typically. If they wake up and they log in to play in this tournament, they could give Apex a run for their money. Uh, ultimately, though, I'm thinking if Apex's new roster is what you had told me, if it is Sup Cutie and Muffins, I'm going to actually put my money on them to move on into the Final Four. Uh, beating radioactive yeah it is at least as far as i'm aware as of uh the last couple of hours it is that roster it is going to be uh night morph uh it's going to be ha tarsis as well as muffins and sub q so obviously a really strong team muffins a very very solid thief there so yeah apex is definitely going to be coming through with some uh some some ferocity, I definitely have to say. Um, yeah. Mental Asylum, obviously one of those teams that did very very well in the AG Weekly. I have to I have to expect that they're probably going to be. Uh, if Booty Bakery can't make it through to the round of 16, I probably have to say that Mental Asylum will be that team to move on to fight Apex For Prime. Sure. But once, you, once again, I have to say Apex Prime more than likely moving on into the top four here. I, I do want to I want to point out. Out of all of the brackets we have, out of all four of them, this is definitely the one that's you know up in the air because Booty Bakery, if they're the roster, I think they are. They could they could e easily beat Apex. They could be radioactive. Those three teams really have a good shot at making the top four. This one is wide open for anyone to take. Yeah, let's move right along here to bracket three. We're gonna do a giveaway again in just a moment here, but let's go ahead and finish up this group three before we do so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at it right now. Cunning Stunts, once again, is going to be Team Risk, Risky Business, or whatever you want to call them, Cloud Gaming. I mean, they've had so many names here. Cunning Stunts was one of their first ones, though, and that's the one that they want to stick with for TOL, so we went ahead and resp respected that. They're going to be the, once again, this is actually Group 2, this is actually Pool 2, not Group 3, as you might see on the stream. Um, that was a, a mistake on our, our graphics part there, but uh, they are going to be the Pool 2 top seed here. I can't say that I see anyone beating them out, obviously. I mean, Wolfpack definitely got a higher seed than at least I expected. Uh, or Guyu, a, a, a pretty solid team that came out of the AGs, but definitely not on the same uh, side as Cunning Stunts or Risk or whatever you want to call them there. Um, I don't see anyone coming out and upsetting them uh, all the way through the top eight. But if we look at the underside of the bracket, we still have teams like Sassy Boy. Sassy Boy's been pretty dominant in Academy Gaming. I've never actually seen them go up against any teams that we've seen a lot in the ESLs. Um, they've been pretty dominant, like I said, in the AG, so it's going to be very, very interesting to see how that translates, at least in my opinion, to um, a more competitive setting, I'd say. 
Yeah, definitely. So taking a look at myself, uh, Cunning Suns, definitely Team Risk getting to the top eight, no doubt, no doubt in my mind whatsoever. Going up against probably uh, Zeros to Heroes, which is the 12 seed, or Wolfpack, or Guyu. I think a couple of their members uh, stopped PvPing and went to World vs. World, so they're really probably going to fall off here. Uh, taking a look at the bottom half, Sassy Boys mustered on any, everything. Those are probably two favorites, unless Rar Crash plays. So now, there are multiple members that signed up on Raw Crash that haven't actually seen play in a tournament or a match for that matter in weeks now. So if they are in the tournament, I'm going to have them going up into the top eight. But if not, Sassy Boy is definitely taking that one uh, and probably losing to Team Risk in the round of eight. Yeah, I have to say that I pretty much agree there. Um, if we look, actually, I'm going to go back to Bracket 2 real quick so we can talk about something that just happened in chat. Um, he actually came in and confirmed that members of Booty Bakery and uh, they do have four members confirmed here and fifth is undecided so it's going to be interesting to see who they pull in for that fifth member. Uh, we were talking about H-Man just a couple moments ago, or sorry not H-Man, we were talking about Apex uh, and two of the members were H-Man and Happy Kid. Those two members have moved on to join Booty Bakery here obviously in the same pooling as Apex Prime, definitely going to be yeah, an interesting that matchup. <laughs> that's that's going to be very interesting in my opinion because uh, we see Booty Breaker is, is going to be H-Man, Happy Kid, Mime, Heba, and 5th undecided right now. So obviously a pretty strong team there. Um, but the biggest thing is that from the same pool, potentially going to be seeing each other in round of 16 if both teams make it all the way through. Uh, Apex as well as X-Apex going up uh, and fighting each other there. Yeah, that looks to be a really really good part of the bracket that that pool number two looking really solid radioactive at the top apex booty bakery and even throw in mental asylum uh, they're a pretty solid team they could put some points on booty bakery uh, I, i'm not picking them to win it by any means but they could definitely you know show them what they're able to do here so uh, like you said a really good bracket there yeah let's go ahead and skip right on down to the bracket four here, bracket four, and actually I'm going to go ahead and take this time right now, go ahead and type hashtag TOL3NA, and TOL just as you did before, and we're going to go ahead and get the second giveaway underway. Once again, go ahead and follow this Twitch channel, or else you will not be eligible, I won't even be able to see you uh, in the role there, so make sure you guys do that. We're, got, we're using Twitch giveaways here, uh, the application extension there to uh, go ahead and give you guys those giveaways. But, like I said, make sure you guys follow the channel and type in hashtag TOL3NA to be eligible for this win. But let, let's look at this uh, Group 4 here. Group 4 is going to include teams, like I said before, like Genesis as well as Soak. Obviously, the two favorites um, that we kind of expect to see. Little People Big World, though, is a team that we saw, I believe, last ESL, if I'm correct. Yeah, definitely. And so th they're a pretty solid team. Definitely a solid team, I have to agree. So they're probably going to be competing against Soak in the round of 16, at least in my opinion. I can't see uh, anything other than that. I mean, those are definitely two pretty solid teams. Uh, at least for the bottom side of the bracket, I definitely think that that's going to be a thing. And uh, it looks like on the top side of the bracket, we have teams like Genesis. Uh, I don't really think that anybody's going to be able to beat them on that top side of the bracket. I think they'll just kind of float right on through to the top eight. Uh, do you yeah. see anything different? Uh, Genesis to the top eight, no doubt. I think they're going to go up against uh, NACL, which is Salt, um, formerly known as Gucci Gang. They're pretty solid. I think they're going to be Turtle Dudes, the five seed there. So I think that'll be a good match, but Genesis will obviously beat them. Uh, Soak and Little People Big World to the round of 16. I don't think there's any contenders against them. Now, this is going to be a good match because I'm pretty sure these guys have actually played each other quite a few times in ESLs. And, uh, but I think Little People Big World is going to come out on top very, very slightly. <laughs> I think that's going to be a really good match. That could really be anyone's to take for that final round of eight slot. Yeah, I have to agree. So once again, we're going to burn through this one more time, just so you guys can see uh, if anybody came in late. We're going to be seeing in group Their one... Top four predictions. Yeah, we're going to be those. seeing... We're going to be seeing... We're going to go ahead and look at the top eight, at least in our opinion, uh, and see where things are going to land. So obviously... Absurd, more than likely going to be in the top eight on the top side of the group one bracket. We're going to see in the uh, bottom side of the bracket, at least in my opinion, I'm seeing ASAP Zerg going through. I believe you're saying IKEA furniture. I'm, yep, I'm saying IKEA furniture, and if it's not, it's going to be slippery dingo wranglers. But okay, I'm going with IKEA furniture. Okay, okay. 
Uh, looking now at bracket two here, we're seeing Radioactive, at least in my opinion, on the top side of the bracket. I don't think anybody's really going to beat them. And on the bottom side of the bracket, I'm going to put my money on Apex Prime, but that Booty Bakery team is pretty solid. Yeah, definitely. So Apex is going to be my second one, but Booty Bakery definitely could beat them if they, you know, they're able to get some practice in before it happens. And the third bracket here, definitely we're going to more than likely see Risk or Cunning Stunts here going three, uh, or going through to the top eight. I don't think anybody's going to beat them. The bottom side of the bracket is a little bit more interesting. Um, obviously, we talked a little bit about Rock Crash and. I, uh, as well as Sassy Boy, so that'll definitely be at least a matchup in a round of 16, at least in my opinion. I don't know if anybody's maybe mustered on everything w could come through and uh, put some work down. Uh, uh, I mean, I, Cunning Stunt's obviously Team Risk going to be getting to that top eight, but Raw Crash, it's, I believe, Demise and Karina, but I don't think they have played a whole lot lately. But if they do show up, if they're in this tournament, I think they're going to go to the top eight. I have to agree, and last but not least here, the fourth bracket. Uh, looking at the top side, it looks like, I, I mean, Genesis probably more than likely going to be running right on through to the top eight here, and we're going to see more than likely, um, definitely the bottom side of the bracket is a little bit more competitive. I mean, looking at it right now, we see Soak as well as Little People Big World, definitely going to be a good matchup. We talked about this a little bit before, but uh, I'm not really sure if anybody's really going to be able to be that competitive versus them, I don't really recognize like any of these teams really uh, beyond those two. I mean, there's a couple in there like Black Legion Knights, uh, How to Basic for Great Llama. Those guys are AG teams, but Little People, Big World, and Soak definitely going to be top 16. Um, I think Little People will will take that and move on into the round of eight. All right, and I will go through one more time before we go ahead and uh, have our last giveaway. But the winner of this giveaway, let me roll real quick. Oh boy, congratulations to Redshift113, I'll put your name <laughs> in the chat here, congratulations to you for winning that. Uh, let's go ahead and burn right on through the, the four brackets just in case anyone missed it. And uh, once again to Redshift1138, make sure you go ahead and send a, us a message on Twitch so that I can go ahead and give you, guy, uh, give you your, your gems, uh, your gem code giveaway. Once again, going through the bracket. We see Abjured uh, in this bracket top, si top seed. Uh, we talked about our predictions already, so uh, if you guys want to go ahead. What are the top four, though? What, what are you thinking for top four and who wins the tournament here, obviously? I think for the most part, as we look through it, and I'll go down to group two, I mean, definitely see Abjured going through and uh, more than likely taking, uh, taking this straight into the top four. I mean, I, I have to say we're going to be seeing Abjured in the finals. I don't think anybody's going to really be putting that much hurt on them, at least in the top four. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not sure about it, you know? No, not even close. I, um, I think I think they're easily going to win the tournament, no doubt. We'll have to see. I, I honestly hope Team Risk can can take a game off of them in the finals, but the Abjured, every, week after week. I believe, we'll be, the, seeing, the I believe we'll be seeing the winner of either Radi uh, Radioactive or Booty Bakery or Apex versus Abjured in the mm -mm. semifinals, right? No, that will be... Uh, the Genesis, whoever wins in pool four. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right, looking right now at the second pooling here, it's going to be uh, more than likely Radioactive Apex or Booty Bakery, as we just said. So, more than likely, I at least in my opinion, I'm going to say that Apex Prime going into the final four from this bracket, um, I'm not really sure if I... I just don't see Radioactive or Booty Bakery beating uh, Apex Prime, especially with this new roster that they have under the belts. Uh, it's such a toss-up, really. Radioactive has been practicing a lot lately, and I mean almost every single night they've been practicing and getting better and better. They've gotten super close to beating um, teams like Team Risk. I believe they have actually maybe taken a game off of them. Maybe not their full roster, but they've gotten super close. I've watched a few of their matches Radioactive versus Apex going to be the game to watch for in this entire tournament. I think it's going to be better than any other game, uh, but that's definitely... I, I don't even want to make a prediction just because it's going to be such a great game and I'm not sure who's going to take it. Alright, looking now at the third grouping once again. This is actually Pool 2. Uh, I can't say I, be, I see anyone beating out uh, cutting stunts there, aka Risky Business, aka Team Risk, aka Cloud Gaming, aka the Risky Six, who... Uh, I believe that's all their names that have been using for the past couple of weeks. Um, but that team, I just don't see anybody really beating them out here. 
and uh, I, I mean, really at all. And yeah. uh, I think they're going to be moving on to the top four. I don't think anybody's even going to disagree with that at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking they're going to the finals, no doubt. And last but not least, we do have the fourth bracket here, and this will be the team that faces off versus the Abjured in the semifinals here. Top four. I'm going to go ahead and give it to... I'm going to go ahead and give it to Genesis. I mean, obviously the, a really strong team. I think they'll beat out Soak uh, in that top eight match. At least in my opinion, I don't really think that anybody is going to be too competitive with them uh, up until that point. But I think Genesis will go up against the Abjured in the uh, round of f four there, the top four, and Abjured yeah. beating them out probably 2-0 to move on to the finals. Yep, that's what I'm thinking too. All right, and on that note, we are going to do our final giveaway here. The final giveaway is going to be the same thing as always, the hashtag TOL3NA. Uh, hashtag make sure you guys go ahead and put that in the chat this is this for the same giveaway as before this is going to be 800 gems uh, for our last giveaway here it's going to be a gym code once again make sure you follow this twitch channel and uh, that way we'll be able to go ahead and roll for you and uh, give you the, a shot at winning this giveaway um, so you know looking at it right now I, I'm going to go ahead one more time and go through the backets just in case anybody wants to take a look one more time this is the group one while we have everybody go ahead and spam out that hashtag TOL3NA uh, and await on that. I'm going to go ahead and go down to the group 2. And while we're kind of looking at this, I do want to mention that this tournament is on Saturday. It's not today. This is just the bracket reveal. This is just talking about um, where the teams are seated, where they're kind of going, who's going to play who, when they're going to play uh, each other, and uh, seeing where kind of teams are going to be lining up and when teams are going to be playing each other. Um, so I I want to I want to say something to that note. I think a lot of people are are wondering what time the uh, the tournament starts. The tournament play begins at 12 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, but the stream doesn't start until 6:30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Yep, 6:30 Eastern on Saturday. That's when we start the first round of eight game. We're gonna do it more than likely the same way we did last time, where we're gonna have uh, two matches streamed in the round of eight, and we're gonna stream both semifinals as well as the final. Uh, this, the whole day is going to be uh, best of three, so obviously you have to take two matches to win that until the finals, at which point it will be best of five. We do have all that information on our website. It's also on Guild Wars 2 and some of the blog posts, and it's also in the forums uh, in our uh, post on the PvP channel. I'm going to go ahead and once again go through the brackets. While I go ahead and roll on this as well, I'm going to do this roll right now. Congratulations to Le Card Captor there, or Le Card, I don't know. We're going to go with Le Card Captor there. <laughs> Congratulations to you. You won the last giveaway here. Uh, make sure you go ahead and f send us a message here on the Twitch channel so that we can go ahead and give you the uh, gym giveaway code there. Congratulations. Going to go through one more time here. Do you have anything left to say? Uh, anything at all, Storm? As uh, we go through nope. this? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys a link to all the brackets if you wish to see those, though. All right, once again, we will be posting that, it sounds like, with Storm. Uh, if you guys want to look at it at any point in time, those are the challenge brackets right there. On the forums, you can look at the exact same brackets that we're looking at right now in the image format, should you choose to do so. Wait, um, is there only shown EU? Okay, never mind. I see them. No, I don't. That's very strange, because I saw them before for NA, and now it only shows EU. So, kind of confused. Maybe they were hidden. Not exactly sure. Uh, they might be hidden right now as we make a couple of roster changes. I know that teams are still looking to do some roster changes. I'm going to go ahead and put the image up for you guys. And that is going to be right there. Go ahead. You can go ahead and highlight that whole thing, copy and paste it into your <laughs> browser. Because Twitch doesn't seem to like commas at all. So uh, go ahead and do that if you, if you choose to want to look at it. Uh, those are your brackets. Once again, that, that, that tournament is going to start at 12 p.m. EST on Saturday. Again, not today, on Saturday is going to be when that tournament starts up. And the streaming of the games of the top eight there will start as well at, I believe, 6.30 PST, or sorry, EST um, for that tournament, if I'm correct. Yeah. 
So uh, once again, it'll be the same as last time. We will also have 10 giveaways for that day, if I'm not mistaken, which will be the same thing, uh, five gems as well as five llamas. So if you guys are just coming out to you know support the stream, we will have stuff for you there as well, and we always appreciate that. Uh, I want to go ahead and thank ArenaNet, as well as uh, DPS, as well as Storm here for joining us, um, and we look forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Do you have anything else to say, Storm? Rubik's Cube? <laughs> Rubik's Cube hype, guys. No, nothing else to say. Um... It, it looks like Nas wants me to solve it by the turn. Nah, I'm sure you I, could I, you, I, you could YouTube that out, man. You could I'll YouTube, YouTube that it out. And I'll have it fixed for you guys. So I'll have to clear the cobwebs off of it first. But yeah, nothing else from me, guys. Looking forward to Saturday again. All right, we'll see you guys on Saturday. We're gonna go ahead and host the one of the members of the top teams of NA. That's going to be absurd. It's gonna be Chase here. So make sure you guys uh, stick around, show him some love. Uh, he'll be representing, once again, the Abjured on Saturday, the top seed of this tournament, and we're going to hand it over to him. Uh, have a great day, guys. We hope to see you on Saturday. See you later. Yep, see you.